In this video, I'll be doing the preview, well, the final preview, actually, for the final <laughs> game of the season. Obviously, Everton at home. And, um, yeah, let's just get straight into it. It's a big game, well, kind of a big game because people are a little bit down, which, obviously, um, I'll get into now. Um, and, uh, well, if you're looking at our previous result, actually, it was a very good result. Just a 1-0 victory over Manchester United. Old Trafford, you know, we've been pretty bad there recently, well, in recent years. And, um, yes, the performance wasn't great. But, listen, second last game of the season, that's all we needed. Just a win, and uh, that's obviously very good, and we got it. We had to hang on a bit, and then uh, Man United were poor in the final third, you have to admit, but we are very good defensively. So, yes, the performance wasn't great, but we got the three points, and uh, Trossard very good, well, gave very good movement for the goal, and that was the winning goal, so, you know, good stuff there. Um, but I think everybody's focused on, not even our game, on the Tottenham versus Man City game, and uh, everybody's been talking about that Son miss. I mean, you can see it on the screen now. One-on-one, -on -one, usually Son, Hyun Min, you're literally so reliable in these situations people saying did he do it on purpose i uh, probably not but listen he hits it straight at the keeper it's a good save and then um, listen that's the fine margins in football if that goes in game ends 1-1 we are literally one game away from winning the title in 20 years it doesn't go in city go up the other end win a penalty and they win 2-0 and uh, listen that's the fine margins in football is what it is spurs didn't do us a favor they were close to doing it and uh, unfortunately i mean lots of their fans were happy but also fans obviously very upset so city City obviously won that game in hand, unfortunately, and uh, yeah, very, very gutting, but that's the fine margins in football, of course, and uh, well, what the Premier League table is looking like now, Man City now top of the league after the game in hand, 88 points, um, we're obviously on 86 points, uh, goal difference doesn't matter anymore, by the way, so say if Man City drawn, we win, we've won the league, If uh, basically if Man City fail to win, but we do win, we win the league, if Man City win, uh, then they've won the league, don't think many people have hope though, because it's Man City, and they're at home against West Ham who, listen, they're absolutely on the beach where uh, David Moore is talking about the under-14s would probably beat them, stuff like that. And uh, yeah, so his last game, you never know in football, but listen, I don't have much hope. All we can do is win our game, literally. We just win our game and hope, you know, for a miracle, but... Other than that, this is nothing we can do now. We've done very well this season, but unfortunately we're up against an amazing team as well. And then fortunately they won their game in hand. And then that's what the league table is looking like. And again, fine margin of football is what it is. Have to wait and see what happens after Sunday. And then you can review the season. But as of now, well, that's what the Premier League table obviously looks like. As I said, listen, I've been proud of this team all season. I mean, yes, the start of the season wasn't great. And then when we lost to West Ham and Fulham back to back, and then went on the FA Cup and we had that big winter break, people were talking about it's a top four battle we're gonna struggle and listen our record this season in the league has been brilliant it's been absolutely magnificent and uh, won every single game obviously oh, oh sorry only uh, drew against manchester city and they lost against villa apart from those two results we won every single game and then uh, we've been flawless we've done very well to get back into it after you know we weren't really favorites little people looking at liverpool and city um, and unfortunately that game you know it could have been so different that's what's gutting you know if the tottenham do a bit better take their chances in the final third because they weren't even that bad son scores that chance if buts maybes and then um, but I guess you shouldn't rely on other people to do the job, but listen, it's very difficult against Man City, of course. And um, yeah, it is what it is. All we can do is hope. Listen, it's not on our hands. Um, we can, we just have to beat Everton because imagine City drop points and we fail to win. Listen, that'll be gutting, and we've no one to blame but ourselves. So all we can do is just win our game, focus on ourselves. And if City drop points, listen, we've done it. If they don't, which they probably won't, but you never know. It is what it is. We've done all we can. So just win our game and hope. But that's literally all we need to do. Not on our hands. But regardless, we've done extremely well this season, and I'm I'm very confident that um we'll be we'll be back next season, 100. percent When we fell apart last season, people were saying maybe we'll Arsenal be back. We've showed that we will. And um, this season again, we should have a strong transfer window. I'm confident. Hopefully, we can finally win it. But it's looking unlikely this season, unfortunately. But is what it is. And um yeah, just have to focus on ourselves, of course. Yes, it's gutting. We've been very good this season. Well, second after the season, we've been brilliant, I have to say. But listen, we're up against an amazing team, and. It looks like they will be winning it because, listen, if Man City drop points at home to West Ham, that would be a miracle. You never know in football, but I think most Arsenal fans have, you know, almost resigned to the fact that I don't think this year is going to be our year. And, uh, yeah, all we can do is uh, have a good victory against Everton. Uh, obviously, they're safe as well, so they don't have much to fight for. I would expect us to win. Pressure is on City, but they deal with pressure brilliantly, so I wouldn't expect any slip-ups. They're just, you know, they just win every single game, unfortunately. And it looks like they could be winning 4-0, which fair play to them, I guess, but 
well, from our perspective, it's disappointing, but we've done more majority of what we could. Yes, we've slipped up here and there, but listen, majority of the season, we've been brilliant, and we pushed them till the very end. That's one thing. We didn't, you know, fall apart in the running. We've pushed them till the end, and I'm very, very happy that we've done that. So, you know, credit to Arsenal. Unfortunately, I don't think we'll be winning it, but listen, all we can do is do our job, and let's hope, you know, we can get a good victory against Everton at the very least. Of course, the reverse game against Everton, obviously, Goodison Park, we finally won now. Uh, one nil, very, you know, clever set piece goal. Uh, we did very well with Vieira, Odegaard, Saka, and then Trossard with a wonderful finish. Um, very tight game, we got most possession, didn't really let them do too much, and then um, nice one nil victory, very early in the season, by the way. Maybe fifth game of the season, I think, something like that. Um, and yeah, we did very well to win it, and yeah, so we did very well there. And it shows it can be a tough game, but at home, I would be more confident. But yeah, that was a tough game at Goodison Park. But yeah, um, moving on to the Everton side of things, and um, to be honest, it's been uh, not a weird season from them, kind of, because they've had points deductions. I mean, I'll just bring in their league position here, actually. That will obviously be easiest. Um, you can see they're now officially safe from relegation. Luton Town, they're all but relegated. Everton, what, 14 points above that. So listen, they're 100% um, they're safe. 15th place, I mean, could they get, they can't even get, um, oh no, yeah, sorry, yeah, no, sorry, they can actually, no, sorry, they can't, I keep getting confused, they can actually get 14th place, can they get caught up, they could get caught up by Brentford, I guess, but listen, for 16, 15, they've nothing to fight for, that's kind of the season done, they've done well to get out of relegation, because remember the points deduction, and uh, so they've done well there, they won't be getting relegated, and they're safe, well, well, they've been safe for a while, to be honest, but after the few 1-0 victories they've had, they're now, you know, officially safe 14 points above the drop zone so literally we have everything to play for we're coming to the Emirates I'm sure they want to still win of course because they're professionals but and um, you know we should hopefully be able to do the job against an Everton team that's already safe so they've done well to obviously stay up as well as I said um, and you can see some of here the recent results uh, obviously they lost 2-1 away to Bournemouth and um, drew 1-1 away at Newcastle beat Burnley 1-0 uh, lost 6-0 to Chelsea away from home that's one thing they don't really concede many goals and they keep a lot of clean sheets but Chelsea away looks like that was just you know a game off they had so 6-0 they were um, extremely poor there and um, then this is where like they did extremely well you have to admit 2-0 at home to Nottingham Forest, and um, obviously 2-0 at home to Ever um, to Liverpool. That's an extremely impressive result. Not only helped them stay up, but obviously ended Liverpool's title hope, so I was very happy for them there. Uh, beat Brentford 1-0 at home. Uh, drew 1-1 one -one with Luton Town away, uh, and uh, that's not even bad because Luton obviously needed to win that. And obviously beat Ever uh, sorry Sheffield United 1-0. So you can see, yes, they have had a few disappointing results, like that Chelsea result's extremely poor, but how many clean sheets do they have? 1-0, 1-0, 2-0, 2-0. So they do keep clean sheets And um, I believe Pickford's actually near enough up there Actually for the majority of the clean sheets He was actually second behind Raya So listen, they, um, apart from that one game against Chelsea It's not actually easy to score against them So if you're expecting us to win maybe 3 4 5 nil, We could, because we're very good obviously And it'll obviously end of the season We could obviously do that because they may be on the beach but um, obviously, they're still very hard to score against. So, might be a tight game and they have to wait and see. But yeah, Everton, that's why they've stayed up. Have, you know, keeping a clean sheet as a relegation side to have lots of clean sheets. You have to admit, it's very, very impressive. So, fair play to Everton for that. And they've done extremely well to, you know, get those brilliant results to keep them up. Sean Dyche, obviously, being their manager, we're all familiar with Sean Dyche. I um, think he obviously gets associated with, um, you know, some not great football, especially at Burnley, long ball, stuff like that. But I think they do play some decent stuff for a while, actually, even at Burnley. And uh, at Everton, they played some nice stuff. Uh, you know, always been a very compact manager. You know, knows the Premier League in and out. Been there for a while. And uh, obviously knows the opponent. So he will be very familiar with Arsenal, of course. And um, that's who I want to win. And as I said, I think he's done extremely well with Everton. Uh, I rated him at Burnley. When he got sacked, I always thought he'd be back in the Premier League. did. And um, he's done very well with Everton. The points deductions, I remember they got a two-point deduction. Then like a six-point. So they've had a couple of point deductions. And, you know, to be that far ahead, still... Uh, still despite getting those you never know they could have even made top 10 if they never got that so fair play to Sean Deitch and then um, yeah he's done very well with that Everton team and again he knows how to set up his team it'll be interesting to see if he goes low block he probably will but yeah again uh, uh, Sean Deitch does know how to manage a good team and uh, again I've always liked Sean Deitch maybe I'm lucky not to be nominated um, for one of the managers of the season I think he's done extremely well and uh, yeah so fair play to obviously uh, Sean Deitch um, and Everton they do have some good players I'll get into it now like um, Jordan Pickford as I mentioned Lots of clean sheets. Um, does have a 
mistake in him, you have to admit. Uh, and but for England, he does very well too. The number one keeper, and um, obviously does very well for the clean sheets, as I mentioned. You know, to for an Everton to keep that many clean sheets, you have to have a good goalkeeper. And uh, you know, Pickford is still decent. Uh, Tarkovsky and Brath Branthwaite, decent centre back pairing, of course. And um, you know, good. You know, that's why uh, they kept lots of clean sheets. Tarkovsky, you know, experienced Premier League centre back. Um, obviously from Burnley too, so Sean Dutch brought him with him, does extremely well and, you know, kind of mentors Branthwaite and Branthwaite's been one of the talking points of the season young centre-back, done extremely well, very tall, leads the game brilliant, uh, deceptively fast as well I'd say, so listen, he might not be at Everton come the summer because, you know, there's lots of interest in him, I think even from Arsenal but um, yeah, he's a quality centre-back still young and has a bright future ahead of him so Branthwaite's very good and him and Tolkowski, they make a decent centre-back pairing in my opinion. Uh, the midfield three. Uh, they have uh, Drisa Gay, Decore and Onana. Uh, I don't know if they all play together. I think they used to. I don't know if they do as much now. Uh, Drisa Gay, good player. Scored a couple of decent goals played recently actually and protects that back forward decently. Decore, we all know about him. Can get up and down. Has a very good goal in him. A uh, very strong player as well and decent, a decent pace. Uh, Onana, we've been linked to him. Apparently he's on our shortlist too for the summer and, uh, he's, fell, uh, and he's not really been starting many games recently. Now. Apparently that's because he apparently fell out with Sean Dyke so I don't know what's going on there I have to wait and see if that you know they make up and he stays at Everton or maybe he moves on Arsenal can get him have to wait and see he might not be an Everton player but listen he's a good player he might even start this game but again very good player as well I think he got man of the match and um, when we lost to them last season at Goodison Park so when he's on it very good player of course and at midfield three very powerful you know decently quick and yeah yeah it will give you a very good physical battle that has to be said Dwight McNeil uh, I've always liked McNeil even at Burnley has a one Wonderful crossing him as well, um, you have to admit, uh, can score a lovely goal, that left foot is very good, I've got to admit, left foot's very nice, can score a very nice long shot, puts in a great cross as I said, he's on corner duty when they score a lot of corners, so listen, uh, McNeil, he's done very well there, Everton like us do score a lot of corners as I mentioned, and McNeil's part of that, so brilliant player, and uh, obviously he can cross it in to Dominic Calvert-Lewin, uh, you know, we were linked to this guy years ago, and he's still a good player, but of course injuries have kind of killed him, uh, no, no, not really been that available to much this season but when he has been available he has a good game a uh, very good in the air can leap for a ball brilliantly very good accuracy on the header decent hold up play pretty strong as well I think Gabriel and Saliba I do trust them but I think Calvert-Lewin you know will have a good game against them and you know maybe even give them a run for their money and um, because he's a good player when he's on it again injuries have you know killed him a little bit so let's hope he stops getting those injuries because I do like Calvert-Lewin and when he's on it brilliant header of the ball can be a bit of a hit and miss finisher when you know at his feet but in the air very big threat can win knock-ons can win the uh, little duels as well so I do like Dominic Calvert-Lewin too so yeah they do have some good players and um, they will give us a tough game I'm not expecting you know usually last game of the season you're thinking we can win this 5-0 but Everton they have a solid defence and um, you know apart from that Chelsea game they don't really concede many goals in a game and you know they are a solid Premier League outfit you have to admit that I'm sure they'll be in the Premier League well they will be in the Premier League next season but I'm sure they won't get relegated again because they're top top quality and um, we do have a good record at Everton at home obviously you know we always do well against them at home but um yeah have to wait and see what we can do against Everton they're obviously again they're, they're a little bit on the beach you have to admit but obviously they're still going to uh, want to give us a competitive game and that's why we can't take them for lightly and we just have to win and hope and there uh, so obviously see what we can do but yeah uh, just as a little summary listen um it's it's a weird game you know we want to win but even if we win you know Arsenal fans may not feel anything because we all expect Man City to do their job against West Ham but listen all we can do is win our game yes you can say well it doesn't matter stuff like that but you know if City somehow do drop points we have to be there to capitalize if we can win our game you never know and listen that's the hope we all have so let's just hope that can happen and have to wait and see if anything you know happens in the City game again I doubt it but you just never know in football crazy things can happen and all we can do is win and hope just hope that's literally it and yeah because if we don't do our job and City slip Listen, we'll all be gutted. So we have to win. Going to be a tough game against a good Premier League opposition. But I am, still, I'm still, I'm looking forward to the game. Final Premier League game of the season, of course. So we all will miss Arsenal too. And uh, you know, I still trust this team to come back next season. And it's the final game. Listen, I'm looking forward to it. We all do well on the final game in front of the fans. And yeah, so it's been a good season for us. We might not walk away with a trophy, but it's been definite progress. So very happy. And let's hope we can end the season on a win. But yeah, that's really it for this video, guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. 
watching this video leave a like on it if you've enjoyed it subscribe to the channel if you're new as well and let me know all your thoughts on the preview do you are you really bothered about this game do you believe city can drop points or are you literally just resigned to the fact that they'll probably win the title uh, let me know your thoughts on that uh, watch out for the team news and put it to the lineups video as well that'll be out uh, after the press conferences from both managers and uh, make sure you also check out the video i did the other day to the daily austin news talking about javel hato sesco and more so check that out too uh, there'll be lots of transfer videos actually because we're coming up to that little bit where the season's done and it's all about transfer so i have to wait and see what also can do and i'm sure it'll be a good one but yeah that's it for this one leave a like on it if you've enjoyed it subscribe to the channel and i'll see you in the next one